it's my birthday. It's also Christmas Eve. I got back home just a couple hours ago from my parents. Stopped at a bunch of different places today. Got stuff to open all over the place, but I got all the clearance packs that I could really find at a couple different Walmarts. What I have is these bigger packs, I guess, of uh, 2000, I'm not sure if it's 14 or 15 Prism. I think it's 15. I uh, was lucky to find some Gallery, 2018, and a Topps Heritage. Uh, could have bought all the 2017 Series 2 and 2018 Series 1 in the world, but I didn't want to. And so I picked these out. And I'm going to start with the Heritage. From what I can see, you can buy hanger, back, uh, hanger packs and blaster boxes. Heritage must have not uh, sold very well, the first uh, the original, because it's uh, pretty cheap everywhere. Had a really good time at home over Christmas break. Got to see my buddy Tom. Really enjoyed. Uh, oh, look at this. I got a relic. I got a really good relic in this. I think you probably already saw that on camera, but I had a really good time with Tom opening packs. A couple of my friends want to open up some packs with me, so if I ever get home, then maybe do that. Hope everyone's having a good Christmas. I am 28 years old today, and I'm still opening baseball cards. Here is my relic, which I haven't pulled many relics out of 2019 Heritage. Jose Abreu, who is a pretty good first baseman, and it's a bat. So that is a... Uh, Maybe I'll get lucky in these on my birthday. And uh, so this is a really good card too because this is the, uh, no, this is, I'm thinking of somebody else. Gurriel, my Davidson. Archer, former World Series MVP, Steve Pierce, CJ Crone. I was just playing video games a little bit. My girlfriend's doing all the presents, so I couldn't be in the living room, but I seen Batansis. Dylan Batansis looks like he's going to leave the Yankees, end up signing with the Mets, so I will miss him. He was a good Yankee. If you haven't seen Top's Gallery, I'm not sure if I've opened it up yet. It's got, uh, basically, it's like sketched, and uh, this is from last year, so there is good rookies like Torres and Acuna, but this is Alex Verdugo, rookie card. That's not bad. Adam Jones, who's now playing in... Japan. This is old and it's a green bordered. And it's a green border, so that's what we would call parallel. And it's number to 250. And it's Pedro Martinez. This is the Hall of Fame gallery. My setup, I've got some, uh, definitely got some glare on these. George Brett, one of the all time greats. Granville Milt Reyes, excuse me. Harrison Bader. And Babe Ruth. So, the uh, numbered parallel is pretty cool. If I can get a numbered card in every pack today, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. I already got the stand. I already got the relic, the Obreu, that wasn't numbered. Jordan Hicks, rookie. Machado. Asmani Grandal. That Granky. Scott Kingery, rookie. Is this... Uh, this is numbered out of 25, 24 out of 25, that's really low. And I've gotten a couple of these, you can see the kind of crazy border there. There's two of these, uh, these kind of parallels in all of them. Giancarlo Stanton, and that's the one of the tops, maybe in the 50s designs. Not exactly sure what year. Heritage always has some pretty cool stuff, or not Heritage, excuse me, the gallery is always fairly neat. Austin Meadows, rookie. Greg Bird of the Yankees said, see you later, too. I hope the Yankees, there's not a lot of free agents out there anymore, but I, if the Yankees do sign one more guy, actually, I hope it's Brock Holt, former Red Sox. He can play pretty much any position. I'd like to have him. Decent bat. Oh, this is Don Madden. That's a good-looking card. Some of the sketches are a lot better than the other, the others, and you can actually see... The, uh, the art, the artist is, is listed on the back of each one of these. Or is Gurriel, Verlander. I was pretty excited to pull that Verlander rookie out of the 2006 Fleer tradition the other day. Syndergaard. Now this is one of the worst sketches. It looks like a cartoon character. 
Trey Mancini, Ricky Henderson. The glare is bad today. Anthony Rizzo, that looks nothing like him. Avisel Garcia. And one of my favorites, Luis Severino. Hopefully he stays healthy all year. Be a good one-two punch with him and Garrett Cole. But then the Yankees pretty much have depth everywhere in the uh, rotation now. You look at guys like Jordan Montgomery. And, um, I don't know what's going to happen with old Domingo Herman. I don't really want the Yankees to have half. This guy passed away, or Donald Ventura. Orman Rodriguez, I don't know that guy, and Scott Cashmere. So this is, let me look at the year on this, 2015. This is 2015 Panini Prism. I've opened up some of these in uh, like Fairfield packs. Hunter Pence, they're a slick card. Justin Morneau does the Twins games. There's a kind of a nice little insert. It says Passion. Brian Dozier and Johannes Cespedes. Dozier's best years are behind him for a while. He was a pretty good uh, second baseman. Actually had some power in a couple all-star teams. Junior Lake. This is Todd Frazier, and it's like got the camo on back. I was thinking it's probably numbered, and it is, to 199. You can see the numbering right there. This is Dante Bichette. And Steven Strasburg. So I got one more of these. So far, I'm pretty happy with the, the uh, obviously got the relic and the heritage. I really would have liked to have gotten a good rookie in the gallery, like Gleyber Torres or somebody like that. Josh Donaldson, he's one of the big free agents that's left. I'm not sure where he's going to uh, end up. Ooh, here's a star rookie, Buck Farmer. Nobody that's Buck Farmer is going to be any good. Actually, yesterday I didn't open this on camera, but I bought one of these Fairfield Triple Box. And I got a Panini Prism, I think it was 2014, Garrett Cole rookie, who I don't care. He's my new favorite player. Hopefully he stays healthy and can win about 30 games for the Yankees. Billy Butler, RJ Alvarez, and Robinson Cano. Those are the special packs, those kind of uh, red, white, and blue parallels. Marcelo Zuna on back here. Another one of the free agents that uh, has yet to sign. My girlfriend's player, favorite player is Eric Hosmer. Iwakuma. I don't even know what happened to this guy if he's still pitching. I remember hearing his name, but I don't really much anymore. Cole Hamels. Slipping here. And Osuna. Yeah, I don't think I've ever pulled really anything good out of these Panini Prisms, and I bought quite a few of these uh, over the summer. I have a card on back that is Tony Gwynn. Michael Morris, I don't know what happened to him. He's a big dude. Freddie Freeman. Jack Peterson, rookie. That's okay. I always feel like he has a lot of potential that he hasn't quite reached yet. I don't know if he ever will. Interesting to see how long he remains a Dodger. Tony Gwynn is my sister Val's favorite player. I was just talking to her on the phone. She called me on my way back up. And uh, if you telling her to get to Walmart, see if you got any cards you can get me. And uh, oh, this is this is something cool. Cool little insert die cut. This is David Wright. One of the better Mets players probably in their history. Doug Fister. Frank Thomas. And this is a neat little card. It is Clayton Kershaw. And it says uh, Diamond Marshalls. So it's kind of shaped like a badge. Fortunately, it's not numbered, but it's neat. I haven't seen anything like this. So I've got a couple good cards. Uh, some of the, quite a few numbered cards actually. And obviously, lucky enough to get the Jose Abreu relic, and also the Trout insert. This is uh, not sure exactly what insert this is, but it has that. Oh, it's New Age Performers. That '70s looking border so i'm pretty pleased with the clearance uh, buys i'll continue to look for these and hunt them out when i go to walmart's and hopefully everybody has a good break i don't know if i'll have time to open anything um tomorrow if you're a teacher i should say have a good break everybody else you guys will be going to work shortly but have a good christmas like comment and subscribe
and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Enjoy your Christmas.